Hello, my name is Gilsan. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making a bridesmaid outfit as the wedding season is open and I'm pretty sure this video might give you an idea for a wedding dress. Originally, the dress that I'll be making was supposed to be my bridesmaid dress, but I'm not 100% sure with the color. So I'll make my dress anyway and I can wear it for another special occasion. Here is my inspiration. I'm going to use the Rose Café Bustier from Daria Pattern Making and for the skirt I will make a half circle skirt. For that you can check my tutorial if you want and I'll put a link right here. And before I start, I prefer to mention that this video is not a sewing tutorial for the Rose Café Bustier. I'll give you some explanation in the making process for some parts that I struggled understanding Dario's tutorial and I think it might be helpful for you but other than that you can check Dario's tutorial. She made step-by-step -step video tutorials in her channel for this bustier. I laid out and pinned all my bustier pieces onto my fabric. I cut an outer and a lining with the same fabric. If you are also following me on Instagram, you probably saw the poll for the making of the bustier and you guys preferred a laced back instead of a zip. So for that, I had to adjust my back body centerpiece and I took off 5 cm. On top of that, I prefer to interface all my outer fabric pieces as Daria, the pattern maker, was suggesting. And I interfaced all the curve pieces, the outer and lining pieces, so it will be more structured. I also prepared form cut pieces so I can wear my bustier bralettes. Daria explains really well how to cut and sew the cut pieces together. I highly recommend you to take your time and check her tutorial. Let's jump into the assembly of the bustier. If you want bonings with this pattern, you should add 1cm seam allowance in the front bodice side piece because this piece in the original pattern is cut in the middle fold. Then you saw one centimeter from the edge. Then after the construction of the bustier is really easy. Look, next to your front body side piece, you place your pattern pieces in alphabetic order. B, C, and D. And you do the same thing on the other side. So here I assemble the front body side pieces A and B together. Then the back body side piece with the front bodice. And finally the back body side piece with back body centerpiece. So C with the Now I'm doing the same thing with the lining pieces and I will assemble and sew the lining pieces together. So, I will have one outer bodice with interfacing and one lining Bodice. After the sewing, I always press the seams. But if you choose to add warnings to your bustier, then you need to press the seams open in the middle front and the rest of the seams have to be pressed towards the back. That was a part that I didn't understand perfectly in Daria's tutorial, so here you can see better. The middle seams are flat. The seams on the right are pressed towards the right and the seams on the left press to the left. For the lining, I prefer to press the seams open. This is what it looks like so far. 
Here, I'm assembling the cups. There you go. Then, I press the seams open. This will help me to assemble the upper cup piece. Here, make sure you take your time to place the upper cup piece with the right size of the lower cup pieces. You can use the pattern piece to visualize and help you out for this step. Once I pinned my pieces, I sew the upper cups carefully by taking my time because I don't want to unseam my work it will damage my satin fabric otherwise. Then I press the seams open. Now I'm going to make thin straps and for that I measured the length that I needed and as I want thin straps I cut 3 cm in width. Then I took a cord and make a knot in one edge like this. I sew this edge to the strip on the right side to secure it. After that, I fold the strip right sides together and I sew along the side with my zipper foot. Here, I cut the excess fabric and it will help me flip the straps easily on the right side. To flip the strap, I pull the cord and push the fabric like this and with the help of my tweezers, I pull gently the fabric. Once the knot and the fabric are inside the strap, then it's easier to pull the cord on one hand and slide the strap on the other hand. Then I press the straps. I also use this technique to make the loop attachment in the back bodice and cut pieces of 6 cm. Then I marked where I was going to place the loops on my back bodice. So, I fold the loop in half and place it right sides together in between the marks. I pin to secure it in place and I repeat the process with all the loops on both sides of the bodice. When I sew the loops, I make sure to secure the sewing by doing few stitches. Next, I mark where the bonings will be sewn. I measure 1.5 cm from the edges. After that, I place the boning on one edge and then go down to the next mark and cut the boning. I burn the boning edges carefully like this so the corners won't be sharp. Now, to sew the bonin, I place the bonin in between the seam allowances like this and I will only sew in one layer close to the edge. You see, right here. Onto the cups now. I will sew the straps with the cups in the step. For that, I measure 6 cm from the edge. This is where I will place the strap. So, I put in between the two cups in a sandwich. I let overpass 1 cm and pin the cups together. After the sewing, I place the foam cup in between, open the seam allowance and sew by hand the upper cup to the seam allowance. This will help me to keep the foam in place for the next step. Now I fold the cup, align and pin all the layers together. I will sew the bottom here 5mm from the edge. Here, I pin the bodice pieces right sides together all around. I will leave a gap here on both sides for the straps. I make sure to match the seams while pinning. So, I pinned all around. Here, I will leave an opening to turn the bodice on the right side and here on the sides as well for the straps. Let me show you closely. Let's jump into the hand sewing. I close the bodice opening. 
I love this part. I feel so relaxed when I sew by hand. For me, the most complicated part is this one, to be honest. Sewing the underwire channeling and then assembling the cups to the bodice. I had to be careful and take my time more than ever. I put loads of pins to make sure the cups don't move. Then after, here I top stitch and I will do the same thing on the other side. I put the underwire in the second cup and you see how it was flat and then it makes a nice shape. It's really impressive how we can make a difference. Then I placed the other strap edges in the gap that I left open earlier in the back bodice and top stitch along the top edge. Now I will prepare my half circle skirt. You can check my tutorial if you want more details on how to make it. I'll put the link in the description down below. I overlocked the sides of each skirt pieces to secure the edges and it will avoid my fabric to fray. After overlocking, I press the edges to lay flat the seams. Then, to start assembling the skirt pieces, I pin the sides. For my skirt, I'm also doing a lining to have a structured skirt as my fabric is thin. I cut the belt pieces and the lace band for the back bodice. Here, I pin my two belt bands together and I will only sew one of the longest edges. I press the seams open of the skirt sides and the belt. I prefer to do a few in one go when it's possible. To assemble the belt to the skirt, I gathered the top of the skirt and I pinned them right sides together. Then, the fun part for me is to sew the invisible zip. After practicing this on multiple projects, I actually enjoy sewing invisible zips and it looks so nice. I like to do precise work, so before closing and sewing the belt completely, I fold and press the edge by one centimeter. Then I sew the ends and cut the corners so it's not bulky. I nearly finished my skirt. It's time to relax and sew by hand the line into the zip and then close the belt. Et voilà! I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below 
and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to help support me. See you next time! Bye bye!